everyone, it's Esther and Danielle. Oh boy, have we had a good day today. Danielle and her dad and I all went to a vendor fair and craft fair. And then we went out for lunch and came home and my husband and my son did yard work. And we trimmed the dog's nails. It's been a busy day. <laughs> so... After watching all the videos about using the cinch, I learned that you do need to use, um, you do need to paper your covers first. So this is going to be an album for our pets. So we've clipped this paper out of Raining Cats and Dogs. I'm going to have to learn how to do better filming and get this done earlier in the day. So one's going to be this way and one's going to be this way and one's going to be this way. All right, can anybody guess what kind of glue I'm gonna use to attach this? <laughs> That's right, friends. Let's put it over here so you can see it. Art glitter glue. There we go. Now, I always buy mine on Tupelo Designs, LLC, but I've heard you can't get it on Amazon. And if you have Prime and can get free shipping, that may be an option for you. I have Prime, but usually for crafting supplies, I like to support a family business. So I do buy most of my supplies from Tupelo Designs, LLC. They have super fast shipping. I hope I'm staying on... Holy cow, you can't even see what I'm doing at all. Let me move this so you guys can get a look at what I'm doing. Like I've said before, you don't need a ton of glue. All right, this album is going to be six by six. Danielle, which one goes on the other side of this? Oh, it's this. Is that how we want it? All right, that's right. And actually, we trimmed it just a little bit bigger because I can trim that off with my X-Acto knife. And then we'll have a good, crisp, clean edge. So I know this is the boring part, but I am going to go ahead and glue the four pieces on. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can get them punched. This art glitter glue dries so fast. Right, this is the one that goes out. All right, so that's one cover done. Then this cover is going to have this. This is actually going to be the front cover, this page with this black plaid on it. Or, let me see if I can see better that way yeah mostly because we're going to decorate this so the background need to be a little bit cool but kind of uh kind of plain well holy cow i'm not getting doing good at getting anything in the shot there we go All right, let's glue on this, what's going to be the front cover. So you want to do the front and the inside cover because that's, because if you don't, put, at least put your base paper down 
then when you go to punch it and then try to put the paper on later, it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time. And I'm glad I found that on uh, YouTube because I didn't even think of that. Okay, and make sure you get it all the way to the edge. Ooh, you gotta move fast with this glue. It absolutely. It absolutely gr dries fast. It has got an amazing grip on it. I should buy stock in this company. I talk about it so much. Well, like I said, we had a super fun day today. I tried not to spend a lot of money at the vendor thing, but some of my favorite people were there. Well, favorite vendors. And so they had a few things I liked. They had a lot of crafters there too. And I'm always really shocked at how much money a crafter can make for some of their crafts. I have never done a craft fair where I took my crafts, but uh, I might do that one day. All right. I don't know if you can see. Get closer up. Danielle, we have the worst lighting in here. Get you closer. There you go. That's got the umbrellas on it. That's going to be cute. I have the entire set of raining cats and dogs like ephemera and whatnot. So we're going to be able to do some neat things to that. All right. Let me get a baby wipe because I got a little bit of glue on my craft mat. And let's see if I can get that in there. Hey, almost the first try. All right, like I've said, this one's going to be a multi-part series, but it is not going to be nearly as many parts as the notebooks were because I've, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, Danielle, can you grab my X-Acto knife? Now, this was a lesson learned. Oh, I set it on the wipe. This was a lesson learned to me. Take off. The craft mat <laughs> before you use the exacto knife. <laughs> All right, so so this is going to be the bound edge of it. So I'm going to want to get that edge cleaned up, and actually, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to wait a little bit and let this glue dry solid on here and put a book on it to weight it down because with that wet glue, that is, give me something heavy to weight down with, please. Hey, good idea. We'll put the cinch on them. Well, actually, no, because that's not got a good bottom. If you can see it in here, it's bumpy. Although, hey, I've never flipped this thing over and looked at it. <laughs> You want to grab me with just one of those heavier books, Peanut? My beautiful daughter, Danielle, loves to help me out and be in the videos. Right, Danielle? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't she sound convincing? But she did beg me not to film until she was ready. All right. We are at nearly 10 minutes, and that's because I yak a lot. So, actually, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to let these dry, trim them out, and the next time we get together, which will be tomorrow, I will have them trimmed, and I'll show you how we punch the holes, and we'll get started on decorating the cover. You excited about that, Danielle? Yes, it's going to be awesome. I know, and then we're going to fill it with pictures of our five pets. Our four dogs, 
Cassie, Tanner, Pebbles, and Bam Bam, and our cat Wilson. Danielle takes pictures of them all the time. <laughs> yes, I do. Her Facebook page is full of pictures of our pets. <laughs> all right, everybody. I hope you've had a really great Saturday because we sure have. It's been nice having my husband home and getting out today and doing some activities, and we got a lot of work done. Tomorrow I should have some time to do some more crafting, so I'll see you all in a video tomorrow. Bye. Bye.